Wednesday. Okay, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. <laughs> Isn't it? I near right need to check my underwear. <laughs> I ain't gonna get me some day of the week underwear. I tell you what. It is Wednesday. <laughs> Isn't it? All the days are running together, y'all. It's it's like Groundhog Day. Seriously. You wake up and it's the same crap. <laughs> you can't go nowhere. You can't get nothing. <laughs> I put, I, I finally broke down because Becca still has not been able to go to the store for me. So, I put, I finally got a time again. I put in another Walmart order. I was sitting there doing it last night, and Fat Man's like, hadn't you learned by now? <laughs> you're going to get your hopes up, you're going to go get your crap, and they ain't going to gonna tell you in the morning, we done bumped you. <laughs> I'm tired of being bumped. Let them bump Big Mama. <laughs> Let them bump me. Y'all, I'll go my D on them. <laughs> Bless their hearts. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> They'll be willing to give me them hidden eggs in the back. <laughs> I'll tell I know you got eggs back there. I know you do. <laughs> you just hiding them. <laughs> we gonna go Easter egg hunting. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, it is Wednesday. <sighs> I did place another Walmart order. My supposed time <laughs> to pick up is tomorrow afternoon after my treatment. So, fingers crossed. That's about as good as I can cross mine. Yeah, that's that's all they'll do. Um, I've gotten up this morning. I'm trying to have a better attitude. Um, my, I'm still sore where I feel. My back still hurts some, but we ain't going to dwell on that. I do have Aretha. Batman told me I had to use her everywhere I go. Yeah. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> Notice I'm wobbling down the hall without her. <laughs> um, we, I dusted the house yesterday and cleaned bathrooms. I did everything but um, potties. And the only reason why I didn't do the potties I don't have any toilet bowl cleaner. So, um, and I have no bleach. So, all that being said, um, I did take some of my bathroom cleaner and kind of sprayed around and wiped. And But the toilet bowl cleaner is on the list. Um, I'm going to make up my bed. Um, I've got to take... No, it doesn't take them. Supposedly, <laughs> to take in my meds, um, got to do my eye drops, um, and I loved, someone had made the comment, and I don't have my phone with me to check to see who it was, I'm going to sit here for procrastination, hey y'all, how you doing, um, someone had made the comment of, um, pick a project today, or for the week and so I'm doing it I am doing it I'm gonna work on Andy's dress my goal today is to at least get it cut out um, I do need to hem nollies but I can do that tomorrow while I'm at treatment because I'm gonna hand him it um, usually the little smocked or heirloom dresses or you know the frou-frou you use the hand stick, uh, hand him those. So I'm going to hand him that. Um, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm going to work on cutting her dress out if I don't know anything. And I'm hoping it's going to spark, kind of like what it did with Nollies. Once I get it cut out, it's like, you know what? I can go ahead and start sewing this part. And then, you know what? 
all I got to do is say this part. And that's how I was with hers. And I sat there in your back. I had it all done in one day. And then my friend put the snaps on hers. Um, Indies takes buttons. And I've got to count and see how many buttons. Um, and see if I've got enough. Right, right, raggy. So, but that's going to be my goal for the week. And like I said, I've been doing that. I've been writing it down. It's all good until you don't follow the ink. <laughs> I'd write it in ink and I didn't. <laughs> so, but we're doing it today. We can do this. We can do this. So, let me get this bed made. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Okay, got my bed made up, and before I start cutting out that dress, I have some home chores that have to be done. Making up my bed, I mean, that's just a given. Bible time, bed, meds, all that given. Um, I'm looking around at my kitchen. Hey, how y'all doing? See, from this view, it's not that bad, is it? Nay, see, you're seeing pretty background stuff. Look at there. Ain't that cute? I don't know what I'm going to put up there once Easter's over, which Sunday is Easter. I'm going to be hunting eggs in the Walmart, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, I'm going to paint you around so you can see the real ones. Starts over here. Last night after supper, we had tacos. I had some chicken meat in the freezer that was chicken tacos from before. And I had that browned hamburger meat. So, we had tacos. Um, then, it wasn't enough to fill us up, so we had some cinnamon rolls for something sweet. We pan around. I hand washed dishes because the dishwasher was full. So, these are clean but need to be put away. When I was looking for my silicone cups to put my eggs in, I found Mr. Bunny. I've had Mr. Bunny for three years. Yeah, three years. I got him at the Aldi in Alabaster. I have never made a bunny cake. <laughs> Bought it, never used it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Truth, truth. Um, Becca's birthday, every once in a while, will hit on an Easter or right around Easter weekend. Um, in fact, she was born on Easter weekend. She was born that Thursday and Easter was that Sunday. And I took her to church that day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. She was three days old sitting in the church. She was passed around more than the offering plate. <laughs> When we tried getting our pastor at the time to christen her, he's like, mm-mm, I don't touch them when they got that new car smell on them. She's got to get a little bit more mileage on her. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, they could not believe I was there with all three kids. And I'm like, well, I ain't missing Easter Sunday. So <laughs> I had her like that Thursday at 2 in the afternoon. We got home Friday morning like at 10. Um, I was good to go. I was ready. I had my normal, I had to call that man and have him bring me my normal before pregnancy clothes. Yeah. And then they thought we had adopted her. They could not believe that I'd actually had her. And I'm like, Psh, let me show you. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, because there had been a family that had adopted a baby on that floor. And so, but, no, she was mine. I got home that evening and I cooked cube steak. I was holding her and cooking dad burn cube steak. <laughs> I will never forget that. <laughs> Anywho, you see, I done walked away from what I was. <laughs> I was going to walk in there and start getting my material. <sighs> I might have to chain myself to this sink. <laughs> I'm going to get these dishes put away. I'm going to quit running my pie hole, and I'm going to get them put away. <laughs> as funny as I'll get out. <laughs> we can do this. 
I think I done got the quarantine crazies, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hey, anywho, I am gonna, I've got some cake mix down there. And since we aren't having normal Easter, and I did put in my order, and it was in my last order that I got bumped out of, um, some Easter peeps and some jelly beans. And that's just it. I mean, I didn't, you know, I'm not going to do, like, Easter baskets and all that stuff. But jelly beans and peeps. And I thought, how fun. I've got some cake mix down there, and I do have some icing. So, I'm going to use this dead burned bunny and egg. Um, and I've got some food coloring, I think. And I'm going to let Carol Beth do the different colors. Of if we can get, like, maybe put it in one of those glad bags and do some piping. Maybe she could decorate the coloring since we can't go get um, icing. I wonder if I could add that to my order that will probably get bumped. <laughs> I might have to do that. I seriously might have to do that. Don't they make decorator icing pens? If I could do that and get it tomorrow, then she could ice the the doodads. You know? I think I'm going to try to do that. I, I think I'm going to try to do that. But first, these dishes. Yeah. note I think what I'm gonna do <laughs> oh that hurt um instead of ordering I don't need to spend the money on um frosting gel like the decorator frosting things girl I got to look at them things expensive and I would need two or three different colors to let her you know mm -mm, no 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 mama's got some food coloring in them glad bags, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna make our own little piping things. January 20. It's just food color, and surely it doesn't go. I mean, how bad could it make it? Oh, January, well, no, Jan we're in April. <laughs> I was thinking of, like, June or something. Water, glyco yellow, red 40. Ooh, red dye number 40 is the one you're supposed to stay away from, make you hyper. Um, blue, red 3, Caribbean preservative. Again, I don't think it's going to kill nobody using a little bit of food coloring. If we, yeah. Mm. If we die from some food coloring more than the corona, we good. <laughs> I got my candle burning. I do have my kitchen clean. Even the stove. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, now, I'm going in here and I need to iron... Miss Nolly's, let's see, we're going to get y'all that way. I need to iron Miss Nolly's dress because I did have to wash it to get the dressmaker's mark off of it. So I need to iron it. It got wrinkled. Um, these are those little snaps. Isn't that neat? You just kind of, I say snap. You just kind of. That'd be difficult if it was on a baby. Wait a minute now. <laughs> How do you do this? Ooh, I might have to get up with my girlfriend that put these things on him. 
girl. Okay, that one did. I met it when I wanted to do, Mama. Right, right, Raggy. Can't get it to do. What you gonna do if it's on a baby? Girl. This ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to take it back to my friend. I'm trying to see if there's a difference between the two and I'm not seeing no difference. It should just the other one just snapped right on there. Let me go check this out. Okay, I'm back. Alright, I got it. I got this dressed. Yeah, I'll probably need to finish ironing it, but it's gonna be folded up anyway, so but I got it hemmed, yay! And got the snap fixed. Yay! <laughs> yes, yes. My sweet, sweet neighbors, they came and they fixed it for me. And you can't even tell that there was an injury. So we're good. We're good. All right, now, to get to supper. Woohoo! To get to supper. And then I'll have to make the little bloomers. I forgot. But now I'm having a hard time of finding um, elastic. So the baby girl might not get no bloomers. You know what I'm saying? Because a fourth inch elastic is impossible to come by right now. Like, literally impossible. Um, tried Amazon, tried Walmart, mm -mm, because that's what everybody is using to make the mask. So, um, and a friend of mine, speaking of masks, a friend of mine sent me the crochet, uh oh, sorry, the crochet link, and I'll try to leave it. Um, down below, um, my crocheter's bow, you're one, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but, let's see, da, 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 da. hey, how y'all doing, we're getting there, we're getting there, a friend of mine, okay, here we go, because, and Becca even said the elastic was pulling at her ears. And, um, it is a crocheted, I don't know if you can see that. And it's like a little band, and it's got buttons on each end. And the buttons, you attach the mask to the button so it's not pulling on your ear. Imagine... 13 hours with that thing pulling on your ear. Yeah. Yeah. After several days, after several weeks. Yeah. You're going to get some. So I will leave the link down below. I And I'm still trying to figure out how to get in touch with whoever they would go to. Uh, however that would work. I know I'm going to make up some for the um, nurses and staff at Becca's facility. So you might want to just contact either your local hospitals and ask them if they would be interested or your nursing homes or wherever you can think of or if you have friends that are in the nursing field or medical field, ask them, you know, but I will leave, I will definitely leave a link and Bo, I will definitely just message it straight to you, hon. Because I know you crochet. Anybody else that crochets, comment down below. And that way I'll know that you know, I can get you the link. Um, yeah. Yeah, how about we do it that way? If you, if you want the pattern, just message me or comment down below. And I will DM it to you. Okay? We good? 
um, we'll do it that way. I'm trying to get this to you though. Right now I'm thinking about it. Because y'all know me. Hey, it's not just a pretty face. Ah. Uh. It might help if we put their name in the right search bar. Alright. Bo, you should be getting it about now. You won't see this till you done gotten it, though. <laughs> hey, hon. <laughs> yeah. It'd be alright. It'd be alright. Um, but I thought that was a wonderful, wonderful idea. Because, yeah. Anywho, the point to this being, and I've loved having the comments and questions and responses about yesterday's video. Um, I was glad to be able to do that. Get it, glad. I was glad to be able to do that for glad and with glad. And I would love to do it, other product reviews. Um... Eliza wanted to know if I could do other product reviews, and I can. Um, I love it when they're sponsored. <laughs> I, if you want to send me free stuff, um, I'll be more than glad to review your product. Now, all that being said, if I'm going to tell the truth, I ain't going to lie. If I don't like it, I'll take straight up. I will tell you straight up. <laughs> Um, and I, I went ahead and answered some questions about like tortillas, but just kind of reiterate if you don't go back and read that comment, um, she had made the comment she had bought 80 corn tortillas, and yeah, you can freeze those, but you don't want to freeze all 80 in the bag because think about it, you're gonna have to check all 80 out, let them thaw separate get what you want and then put them back in and free you can't freeze refreeze freeze refreeze you yeah mm, you don't want to do that go ahead and separate them like if you know you're going to have 10 at each meal put 10 in a bag put 10 in a bag you're going to wind up with eight bags in your freezer do you see what i'm saying okay um if you have a few left over stick them in a bag and once we have enough I'll use that. We'll either do like lunch roll-ups or something. You know, we'll pull them out and make a quesadilla for lunch or, yeah. Um, and speaking of freezer, this is a part of that rotisserie chicken I would gotten the other week whenever I had gone to Sam's. Sam, or was it Costco? Sam's. I went somewhere. <laughs> Hey y'all, it, it's rotisserie chicken, um, and I just threw what we didn't eat into a bag, and if you remember back when Aldi had these suckers marked down to 79 cents, I bought three or four, and they were dated, um, March the 15th, 2020. And it seems like we bought them like that weekend. I immediately stuck them in the freezer. And I've taken one box out. This is where get those reduced markdown things. So freeze them. Um, I'm letting it thaw out. We're going to have chicken pot pie tonight. Okay. And I'm just going to use um, some canned mixed vegetables. But, somebody else has asked, could you freeze carrot, celery, onion, that type thing. Um, they don't use them quite up fast enough before it starts. Don't ever throw anything like that away. Think about it. When you go into the freezer section at the store, what can you buy? You can buy the mix, and I tell you all the time, I usually try to have one in my freezer just in case. Of it's the onions and the peppers and it's called the seasoning blend or something but you can also buy mixed vegetables and what is that carrots English peas 
sometimes it'll have celery in it okay stir fry sometimes will have celery so think about if you can buy it in the frozen food section you can freeze it okay um you can freeze anything like that but potatoes okay potatoes have to be what they call um par cooked or partially cooked um i've never had like freezing like cubed potatoes or french fries or anything like that the only thing i've ever been able to freeze and it turned out okay is twice baked potatoes yep that's the only thing i've been able to freeze as far as potatoes go yeah yeah but your carrots just cut or chop up um celery cut and chop up onion cut and chop up and if you want to if you have like a little bit of this and a little bit of that just keep adding all that stuff to one bag and put on there soup mix okay yeah you see where i'm going and just as you have like leftover green beans add to that bag if you've got an onion fixing to go bad, or you got, last night when we did tacos, um, I had some chicken from the freezer from when we had tacos before, and then I had my browned hamburger meat, and we only did one pack of brown, I took out two, we only used one. So I still have this ground beef, browned ground beef. Um, I'm gonna use tomorrow night. We're gonna have hamburger helper. Woo! -hoo! We're living the dream, people. Living the dream. Um, oh, onion. I cut up some onion for tacos. We probably won't use this onion unless I do hot dogs Saturday. Ooh, that might be a good idea. Because we got some crescent rolls. We could do crescent dogs. We might do crescent dogs. Anywho, um, if I see that I'm not going to use that before it goes kind of dried up and funky, um, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag, or glad bag, frozen bag. <laughs> like I said, we, we just always call it that. <laughs> Our glad bags. Um, and I've got some more onions down here. And before, if I see them starting to get, mm, I will cut them up and freeze them. Um, I've got a bag in my freezer now of bell pepper and onion. And it was like part of a bell pepper and part of an onion. And I've just chopped it up and stuck it in the, I've got one bell pepper in here. And if I don't hurry up and use it, I'm going to cut him up and throw him in there too. Yes, ma'am. Sure will. I've got some carrots that if they start and they're starting to look kind of funky, guess what? They're going to get tossed in the freezer. And the reason why I do mine, I just go ahead and stick them all in one bag. Um, you figure if you're freezing it, it's probably just like a little bit. Um, unless you've got a good bit of like one thing it's probably just a little bit of this and a little bit of that and once my bag will get full guess what we have soup or stew yeah yeah um in fact i looked in there to see if i had a bag that had like carrots and peas and green and corn and all and i did not because i was going to use that i'm watering my plant i was going to use that for my chicken pot pie if i have one and i did not the only thing i have in there is my um peppers and onions so all that being said uh -oh. i'm killing my cactus have y'all ever known a person to kill a cactus i can kill a cactus yeah, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, I'm glad yesterday's video, you know, was informative and helpful. Um, yeah. So, 
um, one day we will do the breakfast freezer meals. Yeah. Um, I think Friday, I'm trying to think, what is today? Wednesday. Thursday, I won't vlog. Hey, Friday, we're going to go live. Woo! Y'all excited? Don't call the popo -po on us. <laughs> um, that man just texted me to let me know he's going fishing. You know you're going somewhere if you're going with a person named Wahoo. Yeah, I kid you not. He legally went and had his name changed to Wahoo. Yeah, first name. First name Wahoo. Wahoo! <laughs> yep. He sure did. You know you got you a friend if you got you a friend named Wahoo. I'm just saying. So, any hoozles. Um, I'm letting my pie crust thaw out. I'm letting my chicken kind of thaw out. Um, I'm not going to let it thaw out all the way. Again, you don't want to thaw and refreeze. Thaw and refreeze. Thaw and refreeze. Mm -mm. Now, if you let it thaw all the way, you got to use it. If it's thawed partially, you can break off what you want and stick it back in there quickly, you know. Um, and again, if anybody asks, what am I doing with all the top ramen? A, do you know how hard pasta was to find? You come into a pinch, you can use those ramen noodles for spaghetti. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. They make a wonderful side dish. Um, the best homemade chicken noodle soup. And I've shared that recipe before. Um, and that might be what I do with some of this chicken. Um, we're supposed to, honey, one day will be 90 degrees. I was going to say shunt milk. Dead burn degrees. There you go. The next day will be 60. What's up with that? And then they wonder why we're sick. Well, pick a temperature. Is it summer or not? Yeah. Um, the cat has taken my chair. Kitty, you're going to have to move. He didn't get the memo, evidently. Hey. Meow. Okay. So, um, I guess that's going to do it for this afternoon. Look at this wee boy. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud, bud. So, what is it? Look at that sweet face. Do you have a sweet face? You got a sweet face. All right. <laughs> okay, it's five o'clock, and I'm getting ready to. I assemble my chicken pot pie and get it in the oven. I am doing a make-ahead freezer meal recipe, but I didn't already have it made ahead. <laughs> I should have, but I didn't. Um, but it's calling for um, one pack of crust, a can of cream of chicken soup, a half a cup of milk. We are out of milk. So this is where your cans of evaporated milk would come in handy. If you're out of milk, have some cans of evaporated milk on hand and you measure it exactly like you would um, milk. Um, it calls for a half a cup of milk. I'm going to use a half a cup of this. So in fact, it will actually make it a little bit creamier. Um, I found tater tot casserole is wonderful with evaporated milk. Yeah, could you not? Um, and then mixed vegetables, it's say in one cup. I use two cans. We like ours veggied. Um, but I wanted to show you, now this was that frozen pot pie. I'm 
this was the frozen pie crust and I've only had it out um, I don't know maybe about an hour and a half and look how easy I did take it out of the box it is going to thaw out quicker now I've left them wrapped in the paper it's still wrapped up in the wax paper but I opened this one I did take the wax paper part out of the cardboard box though to let it kind of you know thaw out a little bit better alright now this is where the tricky part comes in I am going to kind of lay see how that's not going to fit so, we're going to lay it back down. Da, 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 da. I used to be very proficient at this. I might, I mean, if I can't make it stretch the way I want it to, um, da, 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 da. I was looking for my rolling pin and I am not finding it. Alright. We are going to need a trusted paints cutter. And here's how we're going to do this. Don't get scared. Don't be alarmed. We're working with equipment, people. We're working with equipment. Okay, do you see how we're kind of, we're just going to kind of start stretching and stretching. There we go. Now we're cooking with oil. And we're just going to slowly start bringing the sides up, kind of filling in any gaps or holes, anything that might occur. I was going to use the pizza cutter to cut off my sides if they hung out too far this way. And you just kind of keep slowly patching and stretching until you know that you can't I mean once it starts getting kind of threadbare like that spot I know I can't yeah see I can't stretch there no more but where it's thicker look at that you see how it's moving there we go Ta-da! That is how you make a round peg fit into a square hole. <laughs> well, more of a rectangle. For all you new homeschoolers out there, this is a rectangle. <laughs> okay, now I need a bowl to mix all of our fillings in. Get a kind of a big bowl, and we are just gonna start taking my. And see, this is still kind of frozen. Um, yeah. See, it's still, and that's okay. That's okay because see, I want it still frozen. Because I can break off what I want and then stick the rest back in the freezer. If it was thawed out, like completely thawed out, I wouldn't be able to do that. So, with it still being frozen, I can kind of chop off the pieces I want. Kind of like breaking ice, chipping ice. Um, yeah. Yeah chip and ice. So let me chip my chicken and I will be back. Okay now the little tip 
Um, I'm just full of them here lately, ain't I? <laughs> my masher that I do, like my ground beef with, I want to cut up my um, chunks of frozen chicken. I want to kind of chop them up a little bit finer. So I'm going to take my chopper and see it's like, like I said, it's like chopping ice. But I'm also kind of, I've added my cream of soup, I've added my evaporated milk. And so this is going to kind of chop up my chicken into smaller pieces. And it's going to kind of mix in my soups and my milk. Now I have not added my vegetables because I don't want to smush those. But, um, so think about using your chopper thingy. Like I said, I got mine at Walmart. It was like $3.88. Um, I know Pampered Chef has one. It's almost $20. Yeah, and then this does the same thing. Um, very, very well worth the $3.88. But think about other things that you might need. It's wonderful for mashed potatoes. Yes. That, that's probably what I will do. I was telling y'all about twice baked potatoes. I've got some potatoes over there yearning to be used. And I could do that to go in the freezer. And that way they would get used to not lose. So, yeah, I will definitely put that on my radar for this week. Twice baked taters are good. Alright, so this is starting to break up easier now. It's starting to thaw out. Mixing that milk in. Mixing that soup in. Yeah, that's what we want right there. This is also how I do my poppy soup chicken. Same theory. Um, seriously, whenever you're like at Costco or Sam's, um, pick up a couple of the rotisserie chickens. You cannot buy a whole raw chicken for $4.98. You just can't. And then worry about cooking the dead burn thing yourself? Yeah, no. Pick up two. One to eat that night. Because if you've been saying to Costco, you've been somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You used to, well, if you walked around the store, you were exhausted. Nowadays, I wouldn't even trust walking around. <laughs> but one to eat that night for supper. And one to just debone. Do it individual baggies. There you go. And then that way you know, okay, I've got three, four bags. I usually get four bags out of one chicken. Okay, four meals off of one rotisserie chicken. Um, and I know, you know, I can use that for my chicken tacos, poppy seed chicken, chicken pot pie. Um, this is that chicken from rotisserie chicken. So, and I was a goofball, and whenever... Fat man deboned it for me. I froze the whole dead burn thing in one bag. So that is why I had to just kind of thaw quickly and break off what I needed. Again, once you thaw completely something, you cannot refreeze it. Um, yeah, you can't. So I'm just going to kind of spread that out. I'm adding my veggies. You can stir this in if you like, or just kind of spread it. I'm just going to spread like that. All right, now salt and pepper. My husband would say that I stump my finger with the salt, I don't. <laughs> now, I'm going to get this other top on, and I will be back.
I was trying to get creative. <laughs> With some of my extra crust. Yeah, I saw me spread that one out on the cutting board because if I would have put it on top and started squishing, what would have happened? My stuff would have gone everywhere, Mama. So <laughs> I stretched it out on my cutting board, put it on top, and all the overhang. And I was trying to make something decorative. Come on now, y'all. <laughs> I took it off. I took it off. Because <laughs> it looked horrible. All right. And it says you can top it with cheese toward like the last. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. You do it at 400 um, for 45 minutes or more until golden brown. Um, let's see. Cover for 50 minutes, then I can cover and bake for 35. That's if it's thawed. Okay, so for 50 minutes covered and then we're going to uncover it and do it for 35 and sprinkle with optional you know, cheese. I'm not too sure about cheese on my pot pie. I'm just saying. I've never had cheese on my pot pie. I really don't know if I want cheese on my pot pie. Yeah, no. No. So I'm going to cover this and we're going to pop it in the oven and let it do its thing and then we'll uncover it and let it finish. Ooh, I just thought about it. See, so this is where that that thing process might help you. <laughs> it helps if you more so if you have a brain. <laughs> I'm like the scarecrow. I got just enough to be dangerous. Oh, now I was thinking about I'd made the comment on the evaporated milk being good with tater tot casserole, and I, y'all. Like I said, enough to be dangerous, I tell you what. What do I have in my refrigerator? That thought out brown hamburger meat. So guess what we're having tomorrow night? Because I didn't use that whole can of evaporated milk. I put the rest of it in this container. So guess what, Malin? We have <laughs> We're gonna have tight tight casserole tomorrow night. Yes, ma'am, we are. <laughs> this is where that thinking process, girl, just enough to be dangerous. Just enough to be dangerous. Yep, so I'm going to change this so I won't forget, girl. <laughs> so think about those things. Think about, okay, I've got, I've got so much of this left over. What can I do with it? Or, you know, we've got... We've got some peppers and onions we need to use. Oh, we've got some sausage in the freezer. There you go. So start kind of, honey, in this day and age, we've got to use it. Now I know why my grandmother, bless her heart, lived through the Depression. Come on now, raising babies. That woman, she had so many uses in so many ways of things. Now my mother would get all over her. Um, she, Grandma would say the heel part of bread. Um, she, yeah, you can turn that into croutons. I have known to flip the inside of the heel part of bread to the inside. Uh, you know, the outside to the inside of the cement. She ain't gonna know. It, no. They used to say that's what makes your hair curly. Eat the crust of the bread. <laughs> I've eaten many heels of bread. <laughs> Let me change this menu before I forget, y'all. <laughs> okay, Heinz, I've just got to show you what we look like. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. It's, I wish we had smell-o-vision. One of the few times I wish we had smell-o-vision. Some of these people, you don't want to smell them. You know what I'm saying? Um. I'm just going to go there. There are some smells in this house. Not from me, of course. <laughs> but you don't want to smell. You know what I'm saying? 
But this, this, this be good smelling. This be good smelling. So, gonna let it cool off. Cause if I was trying to eat it right now, I'd melt my teeth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never mind, I paid for them. Well, Fat Man actually paid for them. <laughs> All right, so think about ways that you can use up some stuff that you've got in your refrigerator. Um, think about ways you can substitute if you're missing an item. You know, this is where it pays to have like canned milk, or you know, maybe you could use sour cream. I had thought about, you know, if I didn't have milk. I was going to add some sour cream to it. You know, anything to kind of give it that creamy, you know, liquidy um, yogurt, Greek yogurt. Um, no, you can't use strawberry. That would be kind of nasty. Strawberry yogurt and chicken pot pie. That just don't sound right, y'all. Plain. <laughs> but seriously think about things you know if you're in a pinch that you could substitute with if you're down to where you've got maybe some hamburger meat and you know if you don't have buns do what we did when we were kids what we have white light bread loaf white yeah white light bread did we have wheat bread back then I don't think we did. Did we have? No, I don't think we did. How many of y'all grew up that you didn't have hamburger and hot dog bun? You had that piece of loaf bread. Come on now. <laughs> you had two pieces if it was a hamburger and you'd tear off the edges because you didn't want your hair to be curly. You didn't eat the crust. <laughs> or if you had a hot dog, you'd wrap that one piece around it and smush it <laughs> where it would stay <laughs> your mummy dog <laughs> come on now you know um see kids nowadays they don't know the struggle they do not know the struggle yes ma'am if you were to stick them in a room or in a kitchen they didn't have a hamburger or a hot dog bun you gave them some hamburger and a hot you think they would have enough sense to go and get a loaf of bread? No. No. They would come out, we ain't got no buns. You better go get you some bread. <laughs> Kids nowadays, mm mm. No. 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 <laughs> so why you got them at home? School them. School them. School them on the ways like we grew up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The good Lord has placed them at home for a reason. So you can school them. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for today. Yeah, I'm, yeah I gotta, I'm getting ready to wrap my pie hole around my chicken pot pie. But no, seriously, y'all, think about what you got. Be reliant. Use what you have. Freeze what you think is ba go bad, you know. But like I said, think about things. If you see it in the store frozen, guess what? <laughs> it's all game. You can freeze it. Freeze it. What's the worst that could happen? It not be good. You, I mean, if it was gonna burn anyway. So far, I've not found other than, like I said, and I'll do those twice-baked potatoes. Yes, we'll do twice-baked potatoes. Yeah. All right. So, until next time, keep your hair curly. Keep your smile going. Yeah. Yeah. Quarantine time is kind of liking me. I've just been kind of laying around. I've called it wasting my time, but I hadn't really been, yeah, mm. <laughs> I will see y'all later, bye.